ukitaka kuamoka mambo ni matatu leo nitakupa siri na nitatumia examples ambazo ni simple for you to understand all right because i know uko na hiyo admiration you are looking forward to one day have that financial freedom and probably no watch video ukiwa job ukiwa hasa yako ya kawaida au ukiwa office or whatever the time that you are watching this video all right stick back and relax kwa sababu i'll share this information in the simplest language nita interpret kila kitu nita make it easier for you to understand all right so all what you need to do or relax watch the video hadi mwisho ndio understand the maximum part of it but do you know this who are posting a video kila siku nikizungumzia tips zenye unaweza make do venye unaweza save either ku make do online starting businesses financial i uh, you know management skills na vitu kama hizo so if you do wanna miss any of my good videos in the future fanya hivi doesn't cost anything meaning ni free haita ku cost anything below there on your right kuna ka button kadogo kameandikwa subscribe it is in black hit that magical button like this video and turn that notification bell and by only doing that you'll be youtube ita ku notify niki upload a new video now haya mambo matatu ambayo yanahitajika ndio wewe uweze kuomboka ndio gani alright kitu ya kwanza usikule kila kitu by the way hata biblia in proverbs 20 21 or 21 20 nasemanga only a fool devours everything yani inamaanisha mjinga ndio huwa anakula kila kitu ambacho anakipata I know right now you're about to tell me hey but Joseph you know economy is hard and all those kind of things yet yeah, it is true yeah, I understand but the problem or the issue that the truth is this kuna pia watu ambao wanaomoka with the current situation that we are in wanaambia watu hivi no matter zile pesa ambazo unazipata either baada ya siku ama baada ya wiki ama baada ya mwisho wa mwezi unafaa ujaribu kadri uwezavyo ndio uweze kutenga kiwango fulani cha pesa ndio maana yake upate kupata at least some savings for the purposes of the investment na nimeamua leo nitumie Kiswahili so that at least you understand some things huwa na maanisha aje kuna kwanga na vitu mbili watu huwa wanasema kuna kwa na vitu mbili kitu ya kwanza watu wanasema kama unapata mshahara ya 30000 uishi maisha ya 30000 hiyo ni scam hiyo ni uongo kitu mmoja unafaa kufanya ni ati unafaa ku create surplus surplus ni mabaki yani hao mabaki ndio unaelekeza kwa savings yako kwa account ndio uweze kuchukua hayo mabaki tunaita kama capital we invest upate stream nyingine ya pesa stream nyingine ya income so ukimtu akikwambia uishi maisha ya pesa ambazo unalipwa kidogo mtu ashaka kupiga chenga kwa sababu ina maana yake hautabakisha mabaki yoyote na watu huwa wana saving na purposes ya maybe emergency na unafaa kutofautisha hizo vitu. Kuna kwanga na different names ya pesa. Kuna pesa ambazo unaweza zitenga zikiwa kama emergency fund, hiyo ina maana yake labda kitu kikishatokea kwa sababu unajua haya ni maisha ujui kitu ambacho kinaweza tokea each and every day. Hiyo pesa zinafaa kuwa in liquid form, maana yake yani ni pesa ambazo si ati umenunua sheza ah, ni pesa ambazo ziko in money form, unaweza zi access any time unaweza zihitaji. Unaweza kwa mshwari kama bado you that's your class, unaweza kwa bank kama maybe that. Unajua emergency fund ya mtu mwingine na mwingine azifanani. Kuna mtu emergency fund yake ni ngirimia, ngirimia mbili milioni moja. Kuna mtu emergency fund yake ni 1000, 1000, 1500 mwingine hata some couple of hundreds so kudalingana na emergency fund yako kuna pesa ambazo tunazitanga sinking fund sinking fund ni pesa ambazo tuseme labda uko na mke hapo ni mjamzito unatarajia siku moja baada ya miezi sita siku moja baada ya miezi tisa miezi tisa kikawaida atapata mtoto ama atajifungua of course kuna vitu ambazo na look forward mtakuwa unapata lazima alipie maternity fee lazima kumpeleka nyumbani kum, uh, kumpikia na hizo vitu zote kuajiri mtu na vitu kama yani kuna kununua hizo hizo vitu zote za kuupkeep mtoto so kuna vitu ambazo na tarajia kuwa zita lazima zita happen at that particular point. So hizo pesa unazitenga kando. So kwa hiyo ukitumba pesa zako ambazo unazipata mwisho wa mwezi unakula kila kitu. Yaani maana yake una deny si. Eh? Unaona unanashpiga sherehe, wengine wanasemanga ati mbona ni save na niki save ni kufe. Wengine wanakuambia oh life is for the living piga sherehe na vitu kama hizo let me tell you one secret unafaa kuwa careful sana otherwise ukiendelea na hiyo tabia utajipata kwa hali ambayo ni ngumu sana maisha yako baadaye na wakati unapata uko na nguvu unaweza pata hizo pesa by the way i always tell people na unaona kama ina kwanga a reverse of an advice kuna watu wanaitango young people wao huwa wanaambiwa hey when you are young genius cause ukizeka hauta genius sometimes ina turning kwa scam cause hata bible inatuambia in book of ecclesiastes i think ita inakuambia enjoy your youth but you will do what utakuwa accountable for whatever you did cause one thing ukiwa msem young ukiwa energetic uko na capability ya skip lunch na nothing big is happen uweze ambia msem wa 90 ama uko 80s ati ya skip lunch ama kose kunywa chai ama vitu kama hizo so when you are young kuna some of the things you can actually sacrifice for the purposes of building your future na kitu kama hicho well i'm not saying that overly you kill your enjoyment no unafaa ku mix hizo vitu pamoja as much as unaji nice pia consider tomorrow also for the purposes of saving na vitu kama hizo Hai make sense mtu mwenye ni mzee akiamka mapema kwenda kutapa haso 
na mtu mwenye young ungefanya hivyo ukiwa mapema ama ukiwa young so that when you are old you can actually be doing your things na vitu kama hizo so number one, i said do usikule kila kitu only a fool does that na si mimi nimekuita fool the bible does that bible calls you a fool if you devour everything but the house of the wise inakwanga na all the luxury all the foods and everything go read that proverbs 21 or 20 or 21 around there all right and also maybe if you are different religion i'm pretty sure kuna kitu pia inapeananga instructions on how you can be able to you know grow yourself to the next level kitu ya pili ni tamaa na pupa ya mali hii ndio imefanya wakenya wengi wanaingia kwa shida na sawa wakenya tu watu wengi duniani tamaa kwanza tamaa na pupa you know tamaa na pupa kwa kiingereza tunasema ni greed Yaani greed na hiyo unataka kuwa rich very fast. So hizo vitu mbili ukizichanganya and then watu wengi ambao wako kwa sasa in this generation that we are in wameshajua watu wako na tamaa na wako na pupa ya kupata mali. So kwa hiyo wanauza vitu ambao wanafanya vitu ambazo zinaambatana na hii, unajua ukiwa na tamaa na pupa, wewe unaambiwa kitu ambacho unataka kusikia na pupa unapewa kitu ambacho unajua unaahidiwa kuwa kitakulipa very soon. Na unapata kuna scams mingi zinakuja siku hizi. Unaambiwa sijui kuna scam hii, sijui unapatia shilingi 1000 in 24 hours na kurudisha zikiwa 1040. Eh unasema eh in that one, is that one can make me rich. Kama ni tatu zinapea 1040 na labda nikimpia hiyo 1040 anaweza nipia kama ngapi? So you end up sending that money na una lose zote. Why unaongozwa na tamaa? Yaani hauna ule uhalisia wa mambo. Unajua kuna uhalisia wa mambo literally ku grow wealth why that take time na watu wenye wako na do wanaweza kukuelezea okay wanaweza kuambia it takes time unless you are lucky extremely lucky maybe wangukia jackpot na vitu kama hizo but you can imagine in a country in any given country like country of ours unaweza imagine watu wangapi wanakuanga lucky kuangukia do in that perspective and that's why still tamaa inakurusha kwa gambling kwa betting and health betting una bet na do zenye labda ungeziekeza mahali unafanya vitu kama hizo so una escape unajaribu ku escape ile process ambayo inahitajika ndio wewe mwenyewe uweze ku grow money ama ku grow wealth ndio uweze one day to, at- to achieve that what we call the financial freedom so one thing avoid tamaa lakini kuna tamaa nzuri na kuna tamaa mbaya tamaa mbaya ni ile tamaa ambayo pia inafika kiwango cha wewe kutamani mali ya wenyewe yani ina maana yake unaanza kuiba unaona vitu kama unaanza ku watu wengine just because you are selfish okay kwa sababu pia tamaa inaleta selfish unajua ukiwa na tamaa unatamani tu mambo tu yote tu mazuri ya kuendea wewe labda ukiona mwenzio inakuendea inamwendea vizuri wewe inakuendea vibaya unaanza tamaa na kama hauwezi achieve Kenya na achieve either unamuibia ama unamfanyia maafa so tamaa si kitu nzuri pupa hiyo haraka haraka ya kutamani na sana sana hii iko na the young generation ukiambia mtu tunaweza fanya hivi na hivi baada ya mwaka mmoja ama baada ya miaka miwili tunawezekeza ana mwaka mmoja That one is crazy. Mimi says go hiyo time yote. Maybe I can do this or I can do the other. It's okay you go for that route, but let me tell you one thing. Okay? This actually brings that what we call harming yourself because hizi tamaa itakumekuluze do, itakumekupata kwa shida zingine uh, na vitu kama hizo. And you can imagine this. This is the only money that you had. And then in the, in the process you lose it. Now you are not only broke, but again on top of that you are depressed, you are stressed because you do not have the money that you had initially. So it's a very very bad thing to have the tamaa and the pupa. Kuna tamaa nzuri, tamaa ambayo ni nzuri ni tamaa ambayo unapata ya yeah, unaangalia mtu na you know desires unasema ningependa nifikie mtu kama yule ningependa ni achieve kama yule jamani ningependa at least nifikie hicho kiwango ningependa pia ni muulize at least anielekeze aniambie huwa anafanyaje ndio aweze ku achieve vitu kama hizo so kuna tamaa nzuri na pia kuna tamaa mbaya tukiangalia mwisho ni uoga watu wengi wana uoga uzembe na ya tatu watu wana upumbavu upumbavu tu ni jaribu kutafuta jina Kiswahili ambayo inamaanisha ignorance nimekosa sio kama kuna tofauti ya upumbavu na ujinga na ignorance ama the same because most of the people Kenya wamesoma they are literate but kitu ambacho kinawaumiza ni ignorant kuna mtu aliniambia paka niambia ati unajua ujinga hauui lakini unatesa sana ya yeah, ukijua ukiwa mjinga huo unateseka sana kwa sababu unapatanga mambo mengi ambayo unafanya unatumia tu kifua unajua mtu mjinga ni kumaanisha you don't engage your brain una engage your muscles na vitu kama hizo unaumia sana kwa mfano ukiingia ina typical let's take an example of Kenya. Unaona mali unapata kuna traffic jam eh. Wewe unafikiria labda gari ndo nyingi, labda kuna ajali imetokea. Lakini ni mtu tu ame overlap tu. Just because anataka tu ongoze tu. Ni igno ame ame ignore tu like traffic rules and ame ame overlap. Just because of his own or her own selfishness, 
kila mtu wako kwa traffic and then unaangalia gazeti hata si gari nyingi na vitu kama hizo so ignorance is at the highest order the other thing unapata some of the places watu wana ignore some of the uh, behaviors then you end up even spoiling your environment na vitu kama hizo kuna mtu alisema anga just clean your house and two, two steps outside the door and then you clean the like the entire country nobody does that that's why tama ama mi upumbavu ama ignorant that's what is killing most of the kenyans uzembe unapata people don't want to wake to, to do something you wake up in the morning you go unagather pale jivanji garden you gather wherever the garden you guys you come from whether you are mombasa or whichever the can, town or there you are discussing about politics believing that you're making a change you know a politi- you know being highly politicizing things uh, you know blaming everyone and everybody you know cursing where you are born from cursing your tribe cursing your parents and all those kind of things cursing the education system cursing the matrix and all those kind of things because most of these people na touch it unjua what nikwambia kitu moja the moment uta shake uzembe na nikisema uzembe unaweza niambia huwa na wak sana anafanya kazi kwa mjei unajua pia unafaa kutanganya akili na nguvu kwa sababu ukichanganya nguvu peke yake hawezi pata kitu let me just tell you hawezi omoka tu na hard work ati peke yake hakuna ni hard work pia na unatumia akili ukitumia tu nguvu kutafuta pesa au utaizi pata ndio sasa unapata wasinyo wao wanafanya kazi zile ngumu sana hawananga tu so unafaa kutumia nguvu na utumia akili at the same time that's what brings a difference so unafaa pia unatumia aki unatumia akili so uoga pia unapata labda you are lucky kuna pesa ambazo labda umewekeza i mean kuna pesa ambazo umekusanya mahali ukaweka as your capital eh, unataka kuanza biashara fulani lakini uoga umekujaa unaogopa hutaki kufanya hujui uanzie wapi you have all the ukiambiwa tufanye kitu fulani unaogopa na nikiluz nikipoteza nikifanya kukienda kukawa you are so much unaogopa sana you really fearing so unafaa kuwa very careful otherwise if you keep on kuwa muoga you never make any step and you gonna be stuck at the same same level that is my best swahili that i can give out there i really hope you may idea sana but uh, for, don't re- forget this unaweza tukua namba yangu hapo hivyo kwa description una hapo hivyo chini kwa description take my number niko na booklets about investments about shares money market fund and all those kind of things so you can pick that copy it's only 280 and you can get started or you would like also to get a consultation with me as far as the businesses and investments are concerned grab the same number we can have a conversation for now it's a goodbye see there